Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Carmen and I'm basically just someone who loves sewing and refashioning her own clothes and I like showing you how to do it too. So in today's video, we're going to be refashioning this skirt that I got at the thrift store. So I got this skirt a while back and I don't really remember where, like which thrift store I got it at or anything like that or how much it cost. But anyways, I got this skirt a while back and recently was just feeling like it looked kind of like a good fall skirt if I gave it a little bit of an update. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to be refashioning this to give it a new fresh look that I can wear this fall. So I didn't really like the length of the skirt. I thought it was just way too long and I thought it was just kind of an awkward length. Like it's not really a maxi skirt, but I don't know. I just didn't really like the length. So I really like the color of the skirt. I think it's a really good like fall color. And I also really love the buttons down the front. Now I did find that it seemed like the buttons were kind of like at an angle, like they weren't really straight, but they weren't really angled enough that it seemed intentional. So I decided that I wanted to crop the skirt and I also felt like cropping it would kind of help with the problem with the buttons being kind of not straight, kind of twisted. So hopefully. <laughs> so let's see how we do with the skirt today. Okay, so we're on to the voiceover portion of this video. So before I started actually like cutting into this skirt or anything like that, I wanted to basically decide how long I wanted the skirt to be in the end. So I tried it on and then I just kind of folded it up until I found um, a length that I liked. So this is what I ended up deciding to go with. I decided to basically cut it off right above the sixth button. So there's five buttons or there will be five buttons left. So I've brought my skirt to my cutting table and now I'm just going to spread it out and smooth the skirt out so that everything is laying flat because it's better to have everything laying flat for when I end up cutting the skirt. Now that everything is laying flat, I'm going to count down six buttons and I'm going to make marks around right at that um, sixth button hole because that's where I'm going to want to cut my skirt. So I made marks on either side of the buttonhole and then I went and got my ruler and I'm just going to use my ruler to draw a straight line out from either side of the button. So it's important to make sure that it's straight just so that your skirt will be symmetrical in the end because you don't want one side of the hem to be longer than the other. So once I get the line drawn across the front, I'm going to go ahead and flip the skirt to the back and I'm going to do the same thing on the back, making sure that I have matched up my lines so that it's a continuation from the front around the back. Because like I said, we want our hem to be as symmetrical as possible. I even ended up using a tape measure just to confirm that my hem was going to be even on either side because I have a tendency sometimes to um, disregard this step and end up with things being somewhat crooked. And after using the tape measure to even out the back, I did find that one side of the front was a little bit off. So I ended up just fixing that up really quickly before going on to make sure that everything is straight and symmetrical. All right, so now we're ready to start cutting. So I'm just going to cut along the line I just drew making sure to only cut through the upper layer of fabric. So I'm not going to be cutting the lining in this step. I'm only cutting the upper fabric. 
And once I got to the button with my scissors, I ended up just uh, seam ripping off the button just to get it out of the way. And with the button out of the way, then I could continue around the skirt, continuing to cut along the line that I drew, um, just cutting the outer fabric and not the lining. And once I'd gotten all the way around the skirt, I pulled the lower part of the outer fabric that I had cut off down and it was still attached to the lining right at the bottom at that um, button placket in the front. So I ended up just smoothing everything out so that the part I was trying to cut off was out of the way. And then I just cut along the lining below where I had cropped the skirt. Just kind of loosely cutting it just to cut away the part that I was trying to get rid of. Next I wanted to even out the lining hem since I had just like kind of hacked it off right below the skirt. So I turn the skirt inside out so that I can just focus on the lining. And I get everything smoothed out and then I'm going to want to cut the lining slightly shorter than the skirt because we want the hem of the lining to fall an inch or so above the hem of the skirt so that it never peeks out when I'm wearing the skirt. So I'm going to go ahead and just like I did with the outer skirt, I'm going to use my tape measure to make sure that I get everything even and then I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way around the skirt where I want to hem the lining. Next, I'm going to cut along the line I just drew, making sure that I'm only cutting through the lining. I definitely do not want to cut through my outer fabric because that will mess things up. So that's what I'm doing here. So everything has been cut as evenly as possible and now we just need to iron our hems up and sew them down. So I'm going to take this to my ironing board. Alright, so now I'm going to be ironing my hems up, or pressing them up, whatever word you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put the skirt around the ironing board, get my iron ready, and I'm going to do the lining first and for the lining I'm going to be doing a rolled hem so I'm just folding the fabric about a quarter inch towards the wrong side and then I'm just folding it again towards the wrong side another quarter inch so the raw edges are sandwiched inside the hem so I'm going to be doing that rolled hem all the way around and pinning it in place as I go So I've got my lining hem pinned and now I'm going to repeat that same process with the outer fabric hem. Once again I'm doing a rolled hem so I'm just folding it under and then folding it up one more time to encase the raw edges inside and then I'm going to do this all the way around the skirt trying to keep everything even, making sure my hem is even all the way around and I'm going to pin it in place as I go. Once my hems are pinned up, 
I'm going to go ahead and take the skirt to my sewing machine so that I can sew down both the hems. So I've got my skirt here at the sewing machine. So now what I'm going to do is just simply use a straight stitch to sew down both the, he both the hems, the lining and the outer fabric separately, of course. And so I'm just using a straight stitch to top stitch the hems down right along the upper folded edge of the hems. So that's what I'm doing here. And then after this, we'll be done. Alright, so here is what the skirt looks like now that it's been shortened and rehemmed, and here is what it looks like up close. So now let's take a look at the final transformation. Alright guys, well that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope you find it helpful if you ever find a skirt that you want to crop. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.